junk and food over here in Portville. Well, we went and bought a another flathead. I've been wrestling around it with it for a little bit. Somebody drug it out of the swamp, it looks like. But it's got the transmission. I gotta clean that up. I did spray some oil in there. I think these gears are called hel helical gears. I'm not sure if that's war. I gotta figure that out, but I guess you can get the replacement gears for them still. So this is a, I believe around 50, 1950 on up flathead. Being that the water um, radiator connections are in the front, that's a later later uh, model. And I've just learned about this stuff. So they're in the front here. Now my other one over here is between a what did they say, 34 and a 48, I think. That's this motor here. And these ones got the water uh, for the coolant in the center of them. So that's an older motor. According to what I've been looking up on the YouTube videos, I had to clear a trail to get my cherry picker through here. If so I pull the top off of this, it's a uh, shifter's right there. I think I can be able to use that transmission on my little six cylinder. Now this motor, I don't know, it, it's seized up. And I wanted to use the clutch while the clutch is pulled all the bolts out of the pressure plate and the clutch is actually seized the, right to that flywheel. And the starter, you actually gotta apparently pull the bolts that put it together to put it on because there's a plate right there. Holds all the way around here. I started pulling them manifolds off. Got good exhaust manifolds. And I need that fan blade for the other one. But yeah, the, the newer ones that's got a bell housing there that bolts on. It's got a little bell housing on the tranny, which they all got that. I think my three speed I got would bolt onto that anyway. I'm just learning about this stuff, so I don't know, but this one here has got a permanent bell housing or it casted right into the block. So I'm going to get this one in the garage. And I can't get the clutch or anything out of here until I get the engine turning over because there's, there's a spot right here you can get a socket in there and one, one spot someplace else. I mean, I could get in there and cut them, but I don't want to do that. I'm hoping I can get this one running. We'll see. But yeah, I just bought these. They, I seen them on the internet. And exhaust was, uh, I kind of wanted this kind of transmission. I don't, what I think I'm going to do, there's some of the exhaust. I probably won't reuse that. But what I think I'm going to do is uh, make me up a little bulldozer. This was seized up. It's, it'll break loose. I just got to soak it. Just got to soak it and clean it all up. But I'm going to build me some kind of contraption. And my plan is to build it without putting any money into it. Just with the stuff I got around here. I've got... Uh, I've got a Nova rear end out there, and I've got a Ranger rear end, and I, th I thought I'd just throw something together with a, a whole bunch of different parts. I'd even thought about using a 4x4 frame, but I got some steel. Maybe we'll just go with the steel, and just something to play around in, around here. I will probably use that pressure plate. Or possibly the one over there, or maybe even the one in the six cylinder. So I'm going to put that back on, put some lube in there, and then I'm going to get ready to take some of this stuff in the garage. 
this one I probably won't take in. I'll take that one in. The only thing I really think I need off this one is the fan right now. Another thing on this one. This has got a different type of distributor. Which I guess is a lot of people like these kind. And I can put this distributor on this other one. Look at that copper. I might have to use that just because it's old. And this one over here, instead of the distributor coming up the side, it's mounted down to the bottom. I probably will leave that distributor on there if I can get this one running. Yeah, just something else to mess around with. I'm not hauling no scrap in this truck. We went about 200 miles yesterday round trip to pick this up. It's our little uh, yearly vacation. I'm going to try to see if I can free this one up, but I'll get to that later on. I'll, it's probably been outside for who knows how many years. So we'll take a stroll over here. Now this motor over here that I got, I did a video a long time ago messing around with it and I finally got it running and I had it on video and I, I kept saying my memory is full and I kept going through and deleting stuff trying to, so I could run longer videos and so I'll pull there. I think I deleted the one that I wanted to keep with that engine running. So this I'm going to build something up out of it. <clears throat> Got a little bit of a cold. And this one had that, that transmission had that dry shaft there where, oh I can't remember what they call them, they go right into the rear end, it's a one piece. And I, would have, I was trying to figure out how to make up a dry shaft. Well, the other one that I just got has got the standard, the standard uh, regular dry shaft like newer vehicles. And I bust the distributor cap and the rotor. That rotor would probably actually work. So I am going to go replace them. And there's the oil cap. I want to get this one running one of these days too. That come off that old welder we stripped down. But this I'm gonna put it in some kind of a doodle bug. I'll probably work on this off and on through the winter. I robbed the plug wires, but I've got some more. When I got the wire set for that dodge right there, they gave me a bunch extra and I cut, cut them. So I think I got enough to make a new set. Anyway, that's what I'm doing over here in Portville. The snow is gone for a minute. I could put it on that right there. Not really. Well, I could. There's a bus heater. Come on, the old bus we had. This motor is going to be going to the scrap yard. And that crank is. But yeah, this is the type of yoke this has got back here, so I can put that on anything. So I'm going to clean it up, probably paint it all up, and eventually maybe I'll find an old truck to put everything in. Get all the bugs worked out of it. And Got my WD here. Hope everybody's having a good day. Go find a project. Or not.
Goodbye now.